What is up my Ridge of Bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is the specs for the PS5 or the PlayStation 5 and it actually seems that the PlayStation 5 may be a bit weaker than the Xbox Series X and I'll actually have a video coming out about the specs on the Xbox Series X. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the day after. So what are the specs for the PS5? So the CPU is 8 Zen 2 core at 3 giga point, 3.5 gigahertz, of course a variable frequency as well. The GPU is a 10.28 teraflops with 36 computing units at 22.23 gigahertz, also a variable frequency as well. The GPU is architecture has custom or DNA2. The memory or the interface has 16 gigabytes, uh, GDDR6 or 250-bit. This also comes with a custom 822 gigabyte SSD at launch. Now the PlayStation will also have an expandable storage, just like the Xbox Series X. This will be an NVMe. SSD slot so this gives you the ability to use third-party SSDs and Sony More than like will probably be making their own as well for people that don't want to use third-party that want to use Hey look Sony made this but we have to use it with Sony's kind of thing Now the PS5 will also support external storage Which is a good help because you actually really need one of these with the PS4 and I definitely definitely think you will probably need one with the PS5 if if it just goes absolute crazy with the amount of gigabytes that is in each game like red dead is over a hundred uh cod is a hundred and twenty or a hundred and sixteen now which is just absolutely crazy the ps5 will have 4k u hd blu-ray drive and this is just an upgrade from the standard blu-ray we actually have in the ps4 right now so the IO true port and the SSD are important to Sony so the PS4 can move 50 to 100 megabytes. Now this is the PS4 right now of data per second. However, the PS5 can actually move 5 gigabytes per second. Now of course that's if it is a raw compressed file and if it's a compressed file of course it will go even faster 8 to 9 gigabytes per second now this is so fast like the loading times in gta is actually so slow and i think the spider-man ones are fairly slow as well like the loading times are just so bad as well however ps5 will actually load so fast that loading from being killed to respawn and will just load so fast that you might actually have to put in an artificial loading screen because it just loads so quick. Now going into the next generation of consoles. We won't really be like. Well I'm getting an Xbox Series X. Because it's better than the PS5. And nowadays it doesn't really matter really anymore. Which console you have. Because more and more games are actually having crossplay, Which is a good thing. And now with the PS5 going to be backwards compatible. It will only be with the PS4. And there will be 100 games at launch. That will be backwards compatible, which is kind of bad because people actually kind of want to be able to play old school favorite games from the PS1 or PS2. And they know people are willing to pay for this because they did it with Crash Bandicoot and everything like that. And this, of course, will have more added until all the games are in their library. And we actually didn't see the console at all. We only see the development kit that kind of looks okay and it looks like it's more for airflow because anybody that kind of has a ps4 knows it can kind of overheat or some people can actually sound like an an airplane and it's just absolutely crazy but yeah this is just a quick video just to go through all the specs and everything like that i hope you guys did like it if you did please hit the like button and then hit the subscribe button right beside the subscribe button on youtube there is a notification bell if you hit that you will stay up to date whenever i upload or rarely whenever i live on this channel i think i did it once and you never know i might do it sometime soon if not then you can go 
to my Twitch, link in the description below. Once you're there, you can follow me there and hit the notification bell there. And I try and live stream every now and then there now because Warzone and everything is out and I might start live streaming some Apex whenever we play that as well. Um, and I also have a Twitter which I manually update as well. Link to that will be down in the description below. You can also hit the follow button there. You don't have to hit the notification bell just for the simple fact. There's no point really. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And peace.